gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road headed on another adventure today. We are actually headed to the National Western Stock Show. It is something that happens here every year in Denver, Colorado, and it's been a great tradition in Colorado's history. I think this is actually the 117th year that the stock show has been going on. Um, and once again, in my family, this has been a huge tradition, especially when um, I was younger, but even into when my dad was a kid, they would always take cattle from our ranch and show them every year. So it's been a fun Thing that has always been a part of my life but I'm excited to actually take the kids and our friends today this will be the kids first time going so I can't wait to see their reactions to the National Western Stock Show for the market steer and now we have found a memory of my past. Um, I've told you guys that I have come to stock show ever since I was a little girl and right behind me is this Hereford bull that every year my grandparents would bring me. We would have to take a picture on this cow with my parents or my grandparents. So I'm excited to share this memory with my kids and their friends. So I'm gonna make them take a picture with the Hereford. <laughs> turkey legs, and funnel cake, and funnel cake, and french fries, and a bucket of french fries, <laughs> two, two buckets, buckets of french, french fries. fries, but our jeans and belts still fit. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't eaten any of the fried foods, like the fried corn, or the deep fried, fried Twinkies. <laughs> We're being healthy. Oh Going great. I really like to see all the fluffy steers and heifers. They were really funny. <laughs> fluffy steers. Fluffy. They blow dry them. Yeah. <laughs> they look like big. They look like the show caps. Big, big cotton balls, and they're really funny. I know. Look. Yeah. The best one were the Highlands. They were all poofy, and they look like toys. So Lincoln found his dream. What'd you get there, bud? French fries. A bucket of French fries. A bucket <laughs> of French fries. Which is almost It was a long walk over. Hey guys, we're coming to you from the National Western Stock Show. We have hijacked, we have hijacked the Davis camera and we're going to tell you all about our day before they get back. So this morning I woke up and I went, where's my teeth? Hey, this is a lot harder than it looks. He took a shower too, so he smells really good, although it smells like horse 
we picked out our western outfits and we look all westerny and cute and stuff and then we went out in the crazy blizzard i mean we're talking like death on the freeways blizzard oh my gosh if anybody died on the freeways <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> we're feel, feel terrible about bad. that but we made no. it here we rose above every obstacle in our way and we made it here but seriously, we are uh, very grateful to the Davids for allowing us to... Uh, we are their guests. They brought us along on this grand adventure. This is something that Jill used to do every summer. I'm sorry. Every winter. Yeah, because apparently it's not the stock show unless there's a blizzard. Which sounds crazy to me, but... Jill used to do this every winter growing up, and they wanted us to experience this with them, and it has been absolutely amazing. Unbelievable. We've had a great time. But for real, so we went and saw the, uh, uh, the junior. junior Showman show, and that was incredible. I have never seen cattle get groomed the way that I just saw them get groomed. They blow dry the cattle. They blow dry them and brush them. If there's any PETA fans out there, sorry guys, this is like the most humane treatment of animals that you'll ever see. Yeah, I was looking for how I get this job. These animals are treated Even better. if I get slaughtered when it's over. The biggest thing you need to note is that Luke is not here. Luke David has left the building. Never actually left the state. He was never in the building. So this is camp most of the Davids, Davids. This is adventure. camp the coolest Davids. Camp camp some Davids adventures. Camp a few awesome Davids. But, a few good Davids. But real quick, check out where these seats are. We are freaking going to get dirt in our teeth. The seats in front of us are leather recliners sponsored by a local furniture company. That's how good of seats these are. And the leather actually came from some of the cattle that we saw this <laughs> afternoon. True. It's true. Everything we've just told you is 100% true. 100%. Oh, she's back. Quick. Hello and welcome to the 117th National Western Stock Show and Rodeo. Good Wednesday evening to all of you. How's everybody feeling tonight? Are you feeling pretty good? Excellent. First of all, my hat, let me tip my hat to you because Mother Nature didn't make it easy for you to get here tonight. And the fact of the matter is, is you didn't come here because it was easy. You came here because you wanted to be here. And you want to be here because you love the National Western Stock Show and the rodeo that you're about to be a part of.
at the National Western Stock Show. I really enjoyed sharing this experience with the kids and our friends. Um, and I'm really excited to hear what each of them had to say about their experience. I had a lot of fun. I think one of my favorite events was the barrel racing. I had a lot of fun just looking at the horses. I think they're really pretty. The fluffy cows were funny to look <laughs> at too. And we call them show cattle. Fine. The show fluffy show cattle were fun to look at too. And um, yeah, it was it was a fun day with our friends, and I'm glad we came here. I've can't really ever remember experiencing a rodeo, so this was a good first experience. I really like the bull riding and like the, the main parts of of the rodeo. Like what you would usually expect in a rodeo is bull riding. I I just love that. You, Josh, said you've never been to a rodeo in January. Never. <laughs> yeah, it's a blizzard outside. So usually when we're at rodeo, it's in the you know middle of the summer or you know spring or whatever. And so this was the first time that I had been needing to wear a coat before going in to see the rodeo. So it was amazing. It was amazing. I think I lost my voice. <laughs> Every time we come to a rodeo, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to sway. I like yell and scream and say things. I want to be calm <laughs> and cheer. And I always end up with no voice. And the next day I sound like a crazy person, but we had a ton of fun. The horses were amazing. The riders were incredible. The Bronx were probably better than the bulls today. Um, they didn't have a ton of bulls, but like right now they're lining up more horses. They're incredible. When you realize like the breeding and the history that goes into every one of these animals, it's absolutely amazing. So ton of fun to be here. Never been in an indoor rodeo. That was a new one for me. So definitely an experience to do again next year. Um, well, rodeos are by far my favorite event ever to go to. So because this was- the cowboys. <laughs> because the cowboys and some of the animals. Uh, so this was a pretty darn good rodeo, but yeah, it was really, really good. Favorite part about the rodeo was probably the bull riding, the uh, bulldogging, and the tie down, the calf tying. So that was okay. fun. What'd you get? Wait, hold it up. You gotta we got show. a new deer plate cover and a keychain okay. if I can get it. Yes. Because you're a new driver. Get because I'm a, a I'm a new guy. driver and I'm a John Deere guy. So I got a new little keychain loader. My favorite part was probably the mutton busting. It was so cute. And I love that they all got um, trophies. All right, we hope you enjoyed watching this ep episode. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.